Hello and welcome to Dawn of Comics. I went to the comic shop this weekend, which is awesome. Um, it's only been two weeks, so that was a nice change for me. Normally I, um, I go every three or four weeks, so I managed to go every, or I managed to go two weeks this time, which is great. Um, I did manage to pick up some issues that were not in my previous weeks, so they were either um, late shipping or for some reason I just randomly didn't pick them up so it wasn't until I was putting some comics away that I realized I was missing some issues luckily a place in space had them so they put them in here for me before I show you these I do just want to mention that a place in space has a new storefront and it looks awesome um, it's bigger um, it's just it's so much nicer I mean their original store was great but this one is awesome and if you go around the back they've got a really nice um, back to the store as well with a big sign and a window that's got um, all the Spider-Men on it and it's really cool and inside I do have to show you inside because it's fantastic so it's got two walls of Funko Pops and then in the middle you've got all your back issues that you can go through and there's statues and toys and then right at the back you've got a huge wall with a massive shelf on it and it's just full of graphic novels and it's absolutely brilliant I mean the shorts the store looks so nice I just I, I loved it so much and will mention popped in and I bumped into a fellow youtuber geeky from geeky guy comics uh, Charlie was in there and he, he was really nice it was nice to see him in person um, I did a killer comic show with him which I'll link in the description below he's such a great guy go check out his channel watch his videos he's really cool and we both um, said hello and had a quick chat and then we went on our way, not one of us thinking to take a picture with each other to share on Instagram. I mean, it shows my age. I don't think to grab my phone and take a picture every time I meet someone. So if I was 20 years younger, I might have, but I didn't. So oops. <laughs> Next time we'll take a picture with him though. But yeah, really great guy. Check out his channel. On to my comic haul. So, oh pop them on my lap and I'm going to show you one at a time. So Wonder Woman 763. I'm missing two issues. I think I'm missing seven, 755 and 759 possibly. They didn't ship which is really weird but when they do a place in space will hold them for me so that's great. Um, it's an okay cover. I'm not going to lie it's not the best art. I don't mind it. It's just a little bit static for my liking but the story's meant to be okay so I'll give that a read I'll probably jump back into Wonder Woman now Wonder Woman 1984 this cover is stunning look at that that face is Gail Godot to a T that is beautiful I mean they do a, a hideous variant for this which is just so vile I just couldn't even look at it anymore um, I'll pop a picture of it up in the corner but um, I'm really not not interested in that cover at all. That is not Wonder Woman. That is not for me. I'm a, as a Wonder Woman fan, that is not for me. So that can stay on the shelf. Next up, we've got Batgirl 49, which is uh, Barbara Gordon. She's got to investigate the death of Batgirl, which is really cool. Um, I've read this. Really interesting. Um, I'm kind of gutted that they went the obvious route with the storyline. I would have liked it if there was a big twist and it, the, the killer wasn't obvious, but you know, it is what it is. But still a good read. Next up we've got Batman Superman number 12. Um, this is surprisingly good and I'm really shocked because this series has been hit and miss for the past 11 issues. This was really, really good. I don't know why it gets to be so good again. Um, I'm really, really impressed with this. Uh, it starts off with uh, Batwoman and Steel. They're in the Batcave and the Batcave's been completely destroyed and they're trying to figure out what happened and really good read. I'm really looking forward to issue 13 and that's what a comic book should do. It should really, really hype you up and get you excited for the next issue. So if you're not reading Batman Superman, just pop on at issue 12. It's the start of a new storyline so you can jump in there. Next up we've got Suicide Squad number 9. I haven't read this yet. I've heard it's good but I'm kind of saving it because I don't really have that many to read at the moment. So I'm going to read this at some point over the weekend or maybe through the week. But I love that cover of Harley just holding Deadshot's mask. It's a great cover. This would make a really nice um, foil variant as well if you made the background foil or maybe just the red parts foil. That would be quite nice. 
Next up, another comic I'm looking forward to reading, Batman Superman Annual 1. You've got Mitzel Pitalik and Batmite, and it looks like they're making Batman and Superman fight. So that looks really good. You've got all the villains. It, there's Harley on the cover as well, which I didn't notice at first, but that's cool. If you've seen my previous unboxing, my um, previous haul videos or my Mighty Morphin Power Ranger helmet video, you'll know how much I love these covers. This is not exactly a helmet cover because he's not holding a helmet, but it is in the same style. This is the variant or the foil version of ba uh, Power Rangers 25, where they did polybag comics. So it was a polybag, you didn't know what was in there and you had a one in eight or a one in nine chance of getting this cover. So you had this one, you had the six main rangers, plus you had um, this ranger holding Sabre. So there were six, eight, eight variants, I think. There might have been a ninth, I'm not too sure, but I did manage to get the main six. Um, so this one I don't have for issue 25, but I have the foil variant, so I'm super happy with that. I absolutely love these covers. Next up we have Draco, what is this? Uh, Draken New Dawn, two of three. So this is the foil variant for that cover. And uh, it's, again, that's Draco holding, I think that's just Draco holding his normal helmet. I think, I'm not too sure. I can't, I can't, I can't see a difference. I might have to get my other one out. I think the difference might be he's got Sabre on his hip instead of the Green Ranger's flute dagger. Next up, I have my Batman 3 Jokers, issue two. So this is the first cover, the standard cover. That you'll know the standard and the first variant because the writing is embossed on the cover. So yeah, that's embossed. So the first cover's Batgirl. That's a beautiful Batgirl head. The blood on her cow there. Really nice. And then, uh, where's the next one? That's the regular variant. So that's cover B. Yeah, because that's embossed. It's a great Joker. Great looking Joker. That just really, really reminds me of Jack Nicholson from Batman 89 really really good cover so then i have the other three obviously if you saw my previous video you know i can't help myself this screams jack nicholson as well because in batman 89 when he's wiping off the flesh tone makeup and he's got the white underneath so it's kind of like the reverse of that he's like covering himself this is awesome i love that so these ones are not embossed so that's how you know they're the other variants so i've got that one and i have this one Again, this is the Jack Nicholson Joker, you can tell. I mean, that face just screams Jack Nicholson. It's awesome. And then this one with the monocle. I kind of wish he had the glasses on from like Batman 89 when he's like, you wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? I think that, that would be a cool cover. What I really, really love about these as well is that they're all done by the same artist. So there's this through line of art and it's just it just fits so well. So as with issue one, these come with a Joker playing card. So they're inside. So a place in space pops them inside so you don't have to worry about forgetting them. So this card is Barbara Gordon and uh, the Joker. So the first one was Batman and the Joker and then the third one will be Red Hood. Oh, and there's the back of the card. Um, the third one will be Red Hood and the Joker. So what I'm gonna do, the same as the last time, I'm gonna put the card in the back in the back of the board so that when I seal these and put them away I can see them there and I know that I've got the cards so that's the final comic the rest are black label so while putting my comics away I forgot issue two somehow so I've got one three and five randomly missing two and four I didn't know until I was putting them away I tend to stack my comics up for a, a good while before I put them away because I have so many different collections and so many boxes i have to get all the boxes out to put batman in that box and superman in that box and things like that so it takes forever so i tend to do it all in one go rather than do it on a week by week basis so while putting these away i've got one three and five and the secret files no two and four so they had two apparently four didn't ship for the a cover but they they have the b cover and i'm not too sure if i want that i might have to bite the bullet and just go with that but i love the style of the a covers I mean, that's a fantastic cover. The, and the art inside this book, if you're not reading Joker Harley, you have to jump on that. So um, again, while putting my comics away, I found out I have Harlequin and Birds of Prey issue one. Issue three came out this week, 
or last week, um, but I didn't have issue two. Luckily, a place in space had issue two, so they saved it for me. There's issue two. That's the standard cover for issue two, the Amanda Connor cover. It's awesome. Those faces are fantastic. And I have to get the variant as well, because look at that variant. That is absolutely gorgeous. Harley looks fantastic. I'm not sure who the artist for the variant cover is. Let's see. Uh, the variant cover is by Arthur Adams and Sabine Rich. So that is beautiful. So they are fantastic artists. So there's, and I've got issue three, the Amanda Connor standard cover, which is beautiful. The faces are fantastic. I love that. And then the variant cover, let's just have a look who it's by first by Ian McDonald, and that is beautiful. That is stunning, I really, really love these. And because I was just gonna pick up the standard cover. That was, I mean, because they're, they're quite pricey. I mean, they're $6 each, which is annoying. So I was just gonna pick up the standard cover, but then when I saw the variants, I was like, I can't leave that. I have to have the variants. So now I'm paying twice as much for my comics all the time because of bloody variants, but, when they're this good, I mean, when a variant looks like that, or like that, you have to, don't you? So, yeah, definitely a fan of these. So, uh, that's it. That's what I got this week. Love those. So, next unboxing video, possibly two weeks, hopefully, fingers crossed, because I'm off work for two weeks. So, I should be able to get there again in two weeks' time. So, I'll do another one then. Until then, take care and stay safe.